shows that the Crimson Tide taken on the Aggies 97 will be your temperature at kickoff, but it will feel like 103 degrees. The feels like condition hot and muggy too for the fourth quarter. So we're in a hat today. That's probably your best bet to keep a little bit of that direct sun off your face, but hydration, 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 and just a little pro tip put on the sunblock before you start sweating. Otherwise, the sunblock just gets in your mouth and your eyes. It's just a big old hot mess. Hot and humid is the name of the game at Jordan hair. 91 degrees will be your temperature at kickoff as they take on the green wave down in the plains. But the forecast high temperatures are really going to be the big story over the next several days because over the weekend and into early next week, we're talking about temperatures getting closer to 100 and that's measured in the shade. Average high for this time of year because we're getting closer to the vernal equinox should be about 88 degrees. So we're certainly above average and because it's been so hot and we've had these massive ridges of high pressure, it's also been preventing us from seeing any of that tropical weather. So it's kind of Oh, you got to take that uh, with a grain of salt. This is our WVTM 13 live Doppler radar. It's the only one of its kind. No rain right now. In fact, we are dry from the Midwest traveling into Atlanta down the spine of Florida. Just fine. Dorian. It continues to batter portions of Halifax, more of an issue for Canadian uh, government now. 71 degrees, your temperature right now in Birmingham, and we plan on those impacts mainly by about three o'clock in the afternoon and holding on through six. Keep in mind that the heat advisory, it doesn't expire until 9 p.m. this evening, so we'll still be holding on to that heat. A tad of humidity mixed in. There shouldn't be much rain on the radar, but even if there's just a little speck, we can pick it up there. Our radar is positioned in advance in the path of the storms.